Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about linear convolution using matrix method. So basically, determine the convolution sum of two sequences given as x of n is equal to 4 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 and h of n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1. This arrow term represents what that we are at n is equal to 0. Fine. If nothing is given, it means the first term is what basically at n is equal to 0. Hope you are aware about this. So now to perform linear convolution using matrix method, the following steps should be followed. So the first step is in the matrix method, one of the sequence is represented as a row while the other is represented as a column. So what you have to do basically here, this one, one of the sequences represented as a row. So what I'm going to do here, here I'm going to represent this as a x of n as a row. Okay. So the value is what? 4, right? 4, 2, 1 and 3. While the other is represented as a column. So here I'm going to represent h of n. And the value is what? 1, 2, 2, 1. That is given in the question, right? So this is the first step. So in the first step, what you have to do? You have to represent one of the sequence as a row while the other is represented as a column. Hope it is clear to you. So once it is done, then the second step is what? To fill up the matrix array, multiply each element of the column with the corresponding element of the rows. So basically you have to do a multiplication. So four, so one into four, four, okay? One into two, two will come here. One into one, one, one into three, three. Same, go for this. So two into four, eight, okay? Two into two, four, two into one, two, two into three, six. Then 2 into 4 again 8 and 2 into 2 again 4 2 into 1 what 2 right and 2 into 3 6 now this last one 1 into 4 so 1 is there so same will come 2 1 and 3 so this is what I said here so to fill up the matrix array multiply each element of the column with the corresponding element of the row hope it is clear to you so now this is ready now what you have to do in step 3 see so in step 3 what you have to do basically group the elements in the table by drawing diagonal lines so see I have drawn the diagonal lines and I have grouped the elements okay clear so you have to also draw the same and group the elements so once the elements are grouped, then what you have to do next, let's see that. So next is finally calculate the sum of the diagonal elements in the matrix, which will give the sample of the output sequence Y of N. Clear? So if you see here, so only four is present. So first four will come then comma in the next in the next grouping 8 plus 2 so 8 plus 2 in the next grouping what is there 8 4 and 1 so 8 plus 4 plus 1 this will come right now in the next group 4 4 2 3 so 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 in the next grouping 2 2 6 so so 2 plus 2 plus 6. In the next grouping, what is present boss? 1 and 6. So 1 plus 6. And in the last only 3 is present. So 3. Now y of n becomes what? So if you focus on y of n, it becomes 4. Then 8 plus 2, 10. Then 8 plus 4, 12, 13. And 4 plus 4, 8. 8 and this 2 10 13 again then 2 plus 2 4 plus 
6 10 again then 7 then 3 clear this is what you get now the starting value of n is equal to minus 1 we already know so mark the symbol arrow at the time origin n is equal to 0 so you can represent the result as 4 comma 10 mark arrow here 13 comma 13 comma 10 comma 7 comma 3 okay I hope you already know how to calculate the starting point in the last two lectures we have done okay so if you don't know that you can refer to that lectures so this is our result this is what linear convolution using matrix method so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching